Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel Beyond the Moon. I am doing your sexual love reading. It is timeless, so I trust that when you see this, it's meant to find you, all right? Uh, so Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, if this does not resonate, please check your other placements for messages there. Feel free to cross-watch. Um, don't force anything to fit, okay? This is general. If it's not your reading, it's just not your reading. Check the other placements, all right? Um, Quick disclosure, I am using the sexual tarot. There is a lot of nudity on the card, so if that's not your thing, please exit the video now, but I do hope you stay, all right? Um, I am also offering the 30-minute readings for $30. That information is in the description box below. And also, if you could please subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, comment below, let me know if this resonates. All your love and support for my channel help keep it going, and I am forever grateful, so thank you. All right, Virgo, what is going on with Virgo? Virgo, 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 overall energies, please, for Virgo. Overall energies for Virgo. Hmm, what's going on? Don't wanna talk? Being shy, like the Virgos that you are? <laughs> I feel like most Virgos are shy at first and then it's like, <laughs> Where'd that come from? <laughs> All right. What's going on here, Virgo? Thank you. Letting go. Letting go. Number 26 reduces to an eight. And then we have family and tribe here, number 20. So you could be letting go of things and really like honing in on what's important to you, who's important to you. Um, seeing things in a clearer way, uh, letting go of old baggage or past regrets, losses, things like that. Just letting it all go, coming into the moment, living in the now. All right, uh, let's see. That's good though, that's good energy. All right, we have King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and the Wheel. Yeah, that King of Swords, uh, cutting off things, cutting out things that no longer serve you, um, living in truth and honesty, getting clarity, um, and then the wheel, moving things forward. Things are starting to move forward with you. You could have pissed off a lot of people by doing that. I'm just saying. Um, you could have pissed off family and friends by cutting off and cutting out things that no longer serve your greatest good. You know, people that just didn't fit your your vibe anymore. You know, um, you could have had to just clear that out, let that go. But now things are moving forward. Ten of Wands. You're putting that burden down. You're putting burdens down to have a new start, something that's stable. We have the Ace of Pentacles, Two of Wands, Six of Wands, and King of Pentacles. You could be leaving behind um, an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and going towards another earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or this is you coming into your own. You're getting yourself grounded. Um, Finding your own stability, leaving burdens behind, past pain, anything like that. And you're trying to really start a new cycle of stability. I feel like in relationships in the past, they weren't stable. People may have done you wrong, did you dirty. But you're making that decision to be true to you. And you're going after victory and success here. I feel like you're looking for that love where it's like they admire you. They admire your beauty inside and out where <laughs> like you have conversations where it's like you just look into each other's eyes and maybe even like rub each other's legs under the table or play footsies or, you know, and have that like that bond. Like, you want that. You want someone who admires you. You want someone who cuddles with you, nurtures you, loves you, takes you at a moment's notice. 
You know, they just feel it. They want you. You turn them on. So they just grab you. You could be like walking through a park and they just all of a sudden just they have to have you at that moment. You know, something like that. I feel like that's kind of what you're after and you're leaving all the old crap and baggage behind. You're you're ready for real. All right, let's see. What are blockages or external influences here, Virgo? Blockages or external influences. Three of Wands, King of Cups, and Two of Pentacles. There could have been a Scorpio, um, Cancer, Pisces. That may have been like juggling you. And I feel like maybe you got sick of it. It doesn't have to be a water sign, but it's here. Um, there could have been like jealousy or unstable emotions going on. Someone could have maybe just treated you as like uh, their go-to booty call. Or maybe thought that you were always going to be around no matter what. Because you're loyal, Virgos. You guys do have that loyal energy attached to you, you know. And this person may have been juggling you thinking you were never going to leave them. Joke's on them because you're letting it go. And I feel like now you're waiting for something better to come in. Something where you are appreciated. Where someone's going to kiss you like that. A meaningful kiss. They admire your beauty. They admire your body. Male or female. Doesn't matter. Four of Swords, yeah. So healing was getting blocked here in Five of Wands because there, this person was putting you, or people of the past were putting you in competition with other people. There was third-party stuff. There was arguments, disagreements, disputes. And it's like it couldn't be healed unless you actually walked away from it. Right. Uh, what's coming towards Virgo? Eight of Pentacles. Someone that's willing to put in that work and effort. I feel like they're going to be very, like, giving and, you know. Eight of Swords. Eight and eight. It's action. Accomplishment. Two of Swords and Page of Wands. You you may end up feeling a little bit stuck because you're going to have someone coming towards you that's willing to put in work and effort into this connection. They may be like giving, understanding, um, honest. They may also be loyal. And I feel like it's going to kind of trick you up and make you feel a little bit stuck. Like, all right, this is what I was manifesting. This is what I wanted. But, ooh, now I have it. I don't know. Is this is this right? And you might kind of, like, feel stuck. Or you're not seeing things clearly. So we have the Two of Swords here, too. And Eight of Swords and Two of Swords. In the traditional tarot, they both wear... Um, blindfolds so it's like they're not seeing things so you could feel like this person is because they're so understanding and offering and genuine and everything you might feel like it's a trick like they're waving like a rose under you like wake up smell the roses you know And Page of Wands, there's going to be that passion, that attraction, that fun, playful, flirty, attractive chemistry. Like, it's going to be fun. This person admires your body. I feel like when you're paying attention to other things, they're paying attention to you. Like that kind of a thing. Like their eyes are always on you. This is what's coming towards you. The emperor could be an Aries, but oof. You got an emperor coming at you. Male or female, doesn't matter. You have like the, the king of all kings energy, right? Or queen of all queens, you know, it doesn't matter, whatever. 
someone who is very passionate, determined, driven, fiery, leads the way, um, foreign leader, they could be a boss, CEO, high up in a company, they're very hardworking, uh, very abundant, long-term marriage type energy. You could have an Aries coming at you or someone that's in that emperor energy. Successful, stable, honest, knows where to put focus and energy, you know, knows how to balance work and, and pleasure, you know, they know how to do that. That's what's coming towards you. Let's see, potential outcome. Potential outcome. Page of Swords. There could be an age difference here. Doesn't have to be. There could be. Um, I feel like someone's going to be observing, whether it's you or them. Um, someone's going to be observing, watching, researching, waiting to see if something's going to skip up or mess up here. I feel like it might be you. You might be, like, observing this person once they, like, come into your life. Nine of Cups. A wish fulfillment. I feel like you walked away from crap to have this happen and you know, it's coming. It's coming towards you. Queen of Pentacles. So now we have the King and Queen of Pentacles on the board. You have a divine counterpart coming your way. And justice, it's going to be fair. It's going to be balanced. This person's going to, like, love everything about you. Do we have the King of Cups? Now we have the King and Queen of Cups. And Knight of Cups. And the Moon. You may not see this person coming. You may even try to reject it a little bit or ignore this person. Because you don't recognize what the connection is at first, but this person is emperor. They're not going to let you run away. They're, they're going to keep showing up in your energy. So even if you do try to reject this or look the other way and ignore it, it's not going to be ignored. Yeah, the moon. You don't know this. You don't see this coming. This connection, it comes out of nowhere. It surprises you. Cancer, Pisces energy, your energy, Knight of Pentacles. It's going to move very, and then, and then the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It's going to move very methodically and slow, but not dreadfully slow. It's going to move in the right direction, in the right amount of time. It's going to be planned out, methodical. Um, everything's going to happen in that divine timing. It's not going to be forced. It's not going to be pushed. Um, it's going to go at the right flow for this connection. Um, you're not going to see it coming, though. It's going to be very balanced. It's going to be a wish fulfillment. It's going to be fun and playful and loving, caring, nurturing. It could even level you up. This person could help level you up in some way. But I can tell you there's definitely, like, going to be a lot of sexual energy going on. There's going to be a lot of attraction. But I feel like this person's, like, on the exterior, I feel like they're going to come off as maybe egotistical, uh, maybe very dominant personality, um, because they're used to being in that emperor role. They're, they're used to being the boss. They're used to leading the way, paving the path, lighting the torch. Like, they're used to that kind of a thing. But when it comes to, like, you and the relationship and in the bedroom, I feel like this person is, like, like, very, like, soft, loving, caring, nurturing. It's almost like they have 
the Empress energy in them as well as the Emperor energy. Um, they admire every inch of your body. They're going to be giving. They're going to be giving to you like they want to kiss you all over the place. Like they, I feel like they're going to kiss like your feet or the ground you walk on. Wake up and smell the roses. I keep hearing that. Wake up and smell the roses. You're not going to know what hit you when this person comes around. It's. I feel like it's still hidden. I mean, everyone's on a different timeline. For some of you, this just happened. And I feel like if it did, you wouldn't be watching tarot right now. Because <laughs> you'd be too happy. You know, too busy and happy. Um, for some of you, it's coming soon. All right, let's see. Any clarifications for Virgo? Healing heart. Healing from heartbreak. Freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Yeah, that past is gone. And look at this. The Phoenix. New phase. Renew. Transformation. Growth. Changed mind. You are going from hurt. You're letting all that go, and you are becoming the phoenix. You're rising from the ashes. And then hand of cards. Take a chance, risk, being strategic, options, not showing hand, gambling, and boat. Receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on. You're moving on and getting what you need. This is all happening like in divine timing, and you're manifesting it. Wow balance you guys are gonna i said there's gonna be balance you guys are gonna be like your yin and yang to each other yin yang stay centered in your higher self pause in action calmness step back wait for the sign that's what you're doing you're letting go and you're looking for signs synchronicities creativity inspiration productivity creation Bring out the greatness within. That's what this person's going to do. They're going to bring out all of your greatness. They're going to show you things you've never known about yourself or the potential that you have. This person is going to do that. They're going to light you up. That's amazing. That's amazing. Well, Virgo, this is what I have for you this week. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment below, let me know if it resonates. If you'd like to book a 30-minute personal reading for $30, um, I also offer hour-long readings and distance Reiki healing. All that information is in the description box below. And until next time, Virgo, love and light. Take care.